Hello everyone watching on YouTube, and welcome to Tack 2, The Snap of Dreams. Uh, yeah, I said I'd be back with it before too long, and here we are. I think when I finished the other Tack playthrough like a month ago, give or take, something like that. Might have been a little bit longer than that. But uh, yeah, Tack 2, The Snap of Dreams. This is the sequel to the Attack of the Power Juju game that I played on the channel not very long ago. And uh, it's very good. I believe that it improves quite well upon its predecessor, and is quite enjoyable, so I'm looking forward to playing it, and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Uh, the Dinky Games is a multiplayer thing. I don't think we'll be messing with that at all as a result. I don't think there are any options I need to set. I don't believe... No, this is still before subtitles were like a common thing, unfortunately. So we have no subtitles. I don't know what extras does. The Tac 2 story. Previews, other cutscenes, art and music. I don't think I need to mess with any of that. We just want to get to the game. I actually don't know. Do I have any save files on this? Whoops. I, click, I think I clicked back out of it, or it kicked me out. That might be something to worry about later. Anyways, let's uh, new adventure it up. Accessing the data. Wake up, Tack. Wake up! You've been asleep for too long. Come on, Tack. Snap out of it. He's been like this for days. I've tried everything. I'm at my wit's end, Lock. Oh, creepy. His eyes are open, but he's still snoozing. So, the great and mighty warrior of the Poopanunu people is taking the world's longest nappy. Well, if he's tired, I can take over being great and mighty, mighty, and great. Great, great. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Great, great, mighty, mighty. <laughs> great, great, great. <sighs> mighty, yeah. I need helpful ideas, Locke, about waking Tack up. Right. Hey, you! Wakey-wakey! Good morning, sunshine! Rising, shine! Open up those eyes of yours, sleepyhead! Stop it, Luck! I've already tried that! Okay, plan data. You grab their nose, they can't breathe, you wake up real fast. Luck, I think... I think he's turning blue! No, Tax always looked a little blue. Not that blue! Oh, he's got drool coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him anyhow, Jabalba? I don't know. But he's been talking out loud in his sleep. I think Tack has been having the same dream over and over. And in this dream, he finds himself in a strange world. I love this game, man. I love the comedy of the Tack series. Oh, hey, Tax Dream. Hello? Is anybody here? Break it. Oh, break it, you say. Yo, Tack, he's been working out. He got rid of his, uh, his belly from the last game. Break it. Press B to attack. I, I broke it. Uh. Ah! I'm being attacked by evil gummy huh? bears. The great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people. He who is lucky enough to have fulfilled the prophecy and defeated the powerful shaman, Tleilak. What, uh, who are you? What is this place? And can you turn that light down? This is the dream world. You've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time you have been called here for a purpose. Several days travel from here is a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and terrifying castle. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world, the Guardian, who wields the world-destroying power of the Staff of Dreams. Sadly, the princess has no hope of rescue from anyone, except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight, Happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Nah, don't think so. Uh, no, 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 wait! Hello! You're not supposed to do that! Get back here! 
Maybe you don't understand tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here is a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and... I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tack. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you, in the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Tack. Hmm, <laughs> something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tack. <sighs> You will need training before you can complete this quest. The dream world is new to you. It has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Using my masterful command of huge magics, I can raise up harmless training players from the dream world landscape. You can recognize them by their blobby shapes. Let's just call them blobbies, shall we? Blobbies. I, dude, I love the comedy. I've said it like three times already, but I love the comedy of this game so much. It is exactly my kind of humor. Sky, welcome to stream. Oh, you about to go some Tsushima and you're loving the game? Glad to hear it. Press the A button to jump across this gap. So I'm using a PS4 controller, by the way, as usual, but I am playing this on a uh, Dolphin emulator, so it's GameCube control. You can jump further by double jumping. Press the A button twice to double jump. We gotta, you know, we gotta go through the little tutorial section here. It'd be that way sometimes. These glowing orbs of light are mana spheres. Pick them up as you go. Pick, me. pick them up as you cut off because I walk too fast. Oh dear. Well. Died in the tutorial. Very good sign of how this is gonna go, I would say. I gotta get used to the controls again. The way attack moves and whatnot. Give me that. Give me that bug. It's my bug. I'll take the C stick so you can see me. Good. Follow me. Oh, I heard another bug. Yep, right there. So, uh, one big thing that Tack 2 introduces, and I believe it's in the third Tack game, the Great Juju Challenge as well, is uh, materials, which are bug materials, fruit materials, and mineral materials. And you want to get as many of those as you can to be able to make potions and stuff later that give you benefits in the game. You can glide by double jumping and then holding down the A button. All right, I'm on it. Give me the bug. They will all belong to me. How did, how did you not grab that bug? Yo, get that. Yeah, that's mine now. See that floating lobby there? You must throw to destroy it. Gotta get all them blobbies. Stupid blobbies never stood a chance. They didn't know what hit them. Oh, hello there. You make your way through the dream world. Always look to destroy these blobbies. Doing so will prove your mastery of a concept and allow you to continue. Bum, bum, bum. So, as you can see, Tac 2, Staff of Dreams, has a dream world in it. Shocker, I know. Give me all those minerals that didn't even really look like minerals. And, uh, hey, bug, come here. Oh, I think I got it. Hello, little blobby. Farewell, little blobby. So we'll be going to the dream world every now and then for shenanigans like this, but it also has a normal world that you go through as well, just like in the previous game. Get out of here. These blobbies have nothing on me, dude. It's almost like they're tutorial enemies or something. Hey, you over there. I see you there. I see you there. No escape. You see that quick air attack? That is where you need to go. Your path is complete. You can jump across to the rim. Huh. It's about time. This place is starting to creep me out. Yeah, we'll just jump across to the rift. There will be no issues. No issues whatsoever. Nothing is going to go wrong at all. Everything will be A-OK. -okay. No worries. The Dream Guardian has the power of nightmares. He has summoned a pit fiend to try and stop you. 
The Pit Fiend has swallowed the rift and your only escape from the dream world. You can defeat it by destroying its tentacles. We must destroy its tentacles before it gets to Japan on us. He has summoned some lowly imps to try and stop you from continuing. Those darn lowly imps. How lowly they are. Can't you combo in this game? But like, yeah, yeah, circle and triangle. Ow! Get out of here. Hello there. So, yeah, I remember these. You gotta like dodge them and then hit them. Oh, he mad. He is not happy about that. Turns out when you destroy someone's tentacles, he gets pretty upset about it. Where do they get all these lowly imps? They're so low. No. Out of here. Hi there. No, you don't. Oh, you know! <laughs> that thing spawned in and immediately threw me off the edge. The Incredibly rude. The Guardian has the power of nightmares. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. pit fiend to try and stop you. The pit fiend has swallowed the rift and Curse your you, only pit fiend. escape from the dream world. You can defeat it yeah, yeah, by I, destroying I know, I know, its I know, tentacles. I know. Thank you. At least the imp things didn't respawn. Like, there was an imp over there, but they didn't respawn the summoners. Go away. It did it again! It spawned- okay. I gotta, like, stay away from these things for a second after they- after they spawn. So that they don't immediately hit me and send me flying. Goodbye. One tentacle left. Bring it on, bring it on. Oh dear. We're fine. All according to Keikaku. Alright, goodbye, magical voice. Don't do it, Locke! It's too strong! Oh. We might lose him! Come on, Jepalpa! A little bit of juju smelling salts never hurt anybody. <laughs> it's working, Jepalpa! He's waking up! <laughs> juju smelling salts do it every time. I remember back when I was uh, wrestling. Uh, what's wrong with you people? I'm trying to take a little nap here. Tech! You've been asleep for 16 days! So? Does that mean crazy people can come and shove their moist, stinking pit in my face? Yep, sure does. And that's not all. What? I've been sleeping for 16 days? You were dreaming. You kept talking about a princess. Princess? <laughs> what princess? That's right. I'm supposed to rescue some princess. She's trapped in the dream world, but how can I do that, Jabulba? Well... We'll have to go see my brother, JB. He's an expert in the world of dreams. Well, we better get going. Wouldn't want anybody else to rescue that princess. Let me guess. You're thinking King Locke, right? Hey, I'm not greedy. I like Prince Locke, too, especially if she's a looker. Uh, Locke, there's no way, uh, how can I put this? Uh, Locke, would you help out the wise and powerful shaman of the Pupununu people? By going back to my hut and uh, uh, fetching my other pair of sandals, uh, I have a very painful bunion. Dogs fetch shoes, Jabalba. Prince locks fetch princesses. Ah, but uh, these are the sacred sandals, the most powerful open-toed shoes in the history of magical footwear. Really? Ooh, I need those. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. But Jabulba, you don't have any sacred sandals. Maybe Locke will find me a pair. They sound fantastic. In the meantime... Jabulba? Down here! Yeah. What are you doing? Just hitching a ride. Now, let's set off for my brothers before Locke gets back. I forgot they turned Jabulba into a flea. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. Every cutscene of this game is comedy gold. Let's go, Tech. We need to find a way down the river so we can get to my brother's place. Yeah, let's go find your brother. Down the river. Or, like, hold up. Can I, like, switch the... Let me, let me go to control information. That just tells me what to do. Options. Can I... I can't switch the, uh camera controls it seems very unfortunate but you know it's an old ps2 game it'd be that way sometimes hey domestic tech you've collected some ingredients for juju potions i can teach you all about them simply select juju potions from the pause screen 
All right, thank you for this information, Jabulba. Mine, mine, mine. And if I remember right, right here. Yeah, give me all those grubs. We can use those to befriend Simba or something. I don't know. But anyways, this is a little different from the first tech. They will show you the way. Thank you, Jabalba. I really wish this game had spooked these little guys. Really wish this game had subtitles. Really, really wish it did. Woodies! These nasty wood spirits are the bane of all nature. Stupid woodies. Let's get them. The evil woodies have trapped that poor animal. Defeat them to break the magic lock and set it free. I have freed the squirrel. I am a friend to all of nature. Ow! I just saved you. Did you... You scumbag. I can't believe why! I wanted to be your friend. Ah, a juju shrine. If we can find the tiki, we can summon a powerful juju spirit to help us. There, Tack. That's the tiki you need. Let's get it. Welcome to Stream Gizmo. How you doing, dude? What was I was saying something before, but I forgot it. Because Jabulba interrupted me so much. I think if you do this long enough, he'll get upset and give a funny animation. Or maybe I'm thinking of something different. All right, he, he just doesn't care. He doesn't even realize. That is one boy and bear. The bouncing is insane. Oh, Woody, get out of here, scumbag. Stupid woodies. I remember what I was saying earlier is, unlike the first tack game, this game is more, like, level-driven. So in the first tack game, you would, like, explore every area and, like, the, this, you know, quotation marks, levels, were like, each area that you went through, but you had, like, the hub world of the Pukununu people, like, little village, and you could go back and forth between areas and whatnot. In this game, it's a lot more linear. You go through an area, and then, like, that area is done, and I don't think there's any way to go back to them and you just go through area after area until you finish the game, basically. So it's more linear than the first one, but I find it more fun in general. I'm here to help you, Tack. When I have some advice, look for my picture near the top of the screen. I will do so. But, um, it's more linear in general, but I think the level design is a lot better and the game is more fluid in general than the first one. Jump up to grab the rope and swing across. <sighs> grab. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. I was basically not even holding on to that. We want to get this little scroll over here because it's a juju potion thing. Make it. Oh, almost missed that. Brilliant. You found a recipe for a juju potion. There's another one right there. We want to get as many of those as we possibly can. What on earth is that? It's dead now. That's all that really matters. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Welcome to stream, Digimon Red. How's it going? 